the moment is now. Are you ready? Ready to own the land, air, and sea? Welcome to Let's Play Armis. Today, we're going to play a couple of games and see where it goes. Again, I'm going to pick green. And we'll go with a traditional setup. Meaning, my sea vessels will go up against the sea wall. This is my aircraft carrier. This is my Coast Guard. This is my submarine. This is the media. This is the reserve. This is the flag. This is the mover, which I normally keep around the uh, sea vessels so that I can um, put them into the coastal waters early in the game. This one I'll push in that direction so that it lands here. This one I'll push in that direction so that it lands there. And then I'll come back and push this one in there. Hopefully, we'll see where it goes. This is the army. This is the child. This is the president. This is the nuke. This is religion, which I like keeping close to the flag as well as the diplomat, I like keeping close to the flag as well. That's the jet. This is the vice president, which I like keeping on the op opposite side as the president. That's my marine one. This is my marine two, which I don't uh, differentiate other than just now. And this is my jet. Let's see, do we have any holes? No holes. Let's see what the computer wants to do. Ah, the computer chooses to switch board positions. So I get to go first. Let's see here. Well, the child and the diplomat are the only two pieces that are permitted to take my opponent's nuke. If they take my child, they will lose their diplomat and religion. But I'm willing to take that gamble in order to get the nuke. And it looks like they didn't go for it. So, I will take it. Now, if I could take out their diplomat and religion. Now, normally, the marine is worth an awful lot to me. And so, normally I would try to stay away from a move like that. But, I really didn't think that the computer's president was going to do that. That's why I took the gamble. But, what can I tell you? One, two, three, four. Alright, so now if I take, if I use my jet which can move four, six, or eight spaces. I can go one, two, three, four, and whatever is directly between takeoff and landing is what gets taken out, which is this. However, if I go here, then my opponent's marine is able to take it. So, I'm not exactly sure if I want to sacrifice my jet for an aircraft carrier that's still not in deep waters. Right here, the aircraft carrier has no power. 
while it's on land or on coastal waters it has no power it has to get into deep waters in order for it to be empowered so I think I'm gonna let that go for now let's get my Coast Guard in coastal waters and if he doesn't put it in deep waters soon I may end up taking it one two three four boom okay I'm gonna get my oof. I'm gonna try to get my aircraft carrier over here that would be a good jumping off point for my jet alright so he didn't use any of his marines to take my aircraft carrier and his president just came down here obviously to put some pressure on my soul marine so I'm gonna to have to move out of the way on that one go here and that way I put a threat on his president and at the same time I provide some coverage for my Coast Guard as well as my oh I think I did a bad move because I was supposed to cover my president too and I didn't do that oh well alright so I'm gonna block him in well he's not blocked in he's only got one way to go which is this way unless he wants to take this or this if he takes this then I can take him oh I forgot he can do that looks like I lost the game well if he took my flag he would end up the reserve would end up getting sacrificed so if I go here I'll be able to cover both the reserve and the diplomat wow that was really a quick game just about anyway let me do this I gotta get on the offensive. All right, my opponent just took my child and the consequences of doing the immoral act of capturing a child is that whoever does that action loses their diplomat and religion. So he just forfeited those two pieces for the child which is not really a good move after I've already taken the uh, the nuke but that's his choice anyhow uh, one two three four I go here and I board the aircraft carrier with my jet now I am threatening his army see what he did here those one two three so he's out of range of this and this is providing a little bit of coverage out of range of my army and my helicopter is providing a little bit of coverage to the army anyway so I'm gonna feel comfortable in taking that move to take the jet over here to take his army okay now this marine is actually in striking distance to get my army
if he takes him, I take him over here, and if he takes him, then I take him over with my president. So I think that's still fairly good coverage. More than likely, he's not going to do it. If he does do it, I'm willing to take that gamble. I'm going to go for the boarding with my Marine so that I can try to take out some more of these air air forces and come down in this direction all right now his helicopter if he goes here he'll be able to take out my jet so I should move my jet but if I'm able to one two three no I'm not able to go here and I'm not able to go back onto my aircraft carrier so I would have to, should go somewhere else. And if I come down here, more than likely he'll use one of these to take me out. So that's not a good move. But the object of the game is to win. So let's see if I can do that even if I lose my jet. One, two, three. One, two, three. He can't do anything. If I go here, this is my target location that I want to travel in. If I take the Marine from here, go one, two, three, then I'm directly threatening both the flag and the reserve. And he won't be able to get to me in one move. He needs two moves to do it. So I think that's a good bet. And I'll take that gamble that, you know, I'll beat him to his flag before he beats me to my flag. So I'm going to take that gamble and see if I can end the game a little bit earlier. Oh, he did it anyway. Alright, so now I can take his jet, uh, uh, well, if I take his jet, then his helicopter is going to take me. If I take his helicopter, then I'm free, but then I'm one, two, three, out of range of his flag, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go for that now, and now his flag is vulnerable. And I should be able to end the game, yep, right with this next move. Fantastic. Okay, so I had a little pressure put on me, but uh, let's get to the next game. Still going with green. Let's go with a... Wacky setup again. Let's see what we can do with that. We'll put the uh, sea vessels. Let's spread it out a little bit. Let's get the... Again, the main thing is to get the flag in a corner. Get the mover one or two spaces away from coastal waters. We'll put it here. And get the reserve right next to... Or in front of the flag that's the rule after that then all you have to do is just set up without any holes so that the pieces are next to each other but without any holes um, in the setup zone so let's see what we can do here and again I'm not going for any particular pattern See, now once I did that, I created a hole here. All of this is considered a hole. So let's see if we can fill that in.
Now this is not a hole and this is not a hole. Hopefully the computer doesn't see it as a hole or else the computer is wrong. Okay, fantastic. Let's play it out. Since the computer chose to switch board positions, that means I will be going first. And since I didn't pay any great attention to the setup itself, I just tried to go for a rather wacky setup. I got to look around and see what I can move. Okay, let's get the child. Now the child is able to go one, two, three, or four spaces in any direction. It's able to climb any of its own pieces. We call your own pieces or your own teammates friendlies. Uh, so you can climb over any of its own pieces, but it has to land on land. It can't land on coastal waters and it can't go into deep waters. If it was to land on coastal waters, it would have to be on a sea vessel. Uh, and the only sea vessels that can take a border, sorry about that, um, a border in coastal waters, which would be the Coast Guard. Okay, let's. We know in the previous game, the child and the diplomat are the only ones that are able to take the nuke. The diplomat disarms the nuke and the child breaks the nuke. And there we go. Now the child is not able to climb any of the opponent's pieces that are offensive. Only the opponent's pieces that are non-offensive. Like the child, the religion, the media, the mover, and any of the sea vessels that are uh, that have no power, meaning they're on land or in sea uh, coastal waters, if they're deep sea vessels. So an aircraft carrier or a submarine has no power on coastal waters. The marines are amphibious, uh, and so therefore they can go on land or on coastal waters. They can't go in deep waters unless they board a deep water vessel such as the aircraft carrier or submarine. And I, I think in the next game, if I can't do it in this game, in the next game I want to do a little bit more with the deep sea vessels boarding and, and watching the, the submarine get from the greater sea into the eastern sea and back. I know I'm running out of time here. I can't let these files get too big or else it takes all day to upload to YouTube. Now that's interesting to have that there. I wonder... All right, one, two. My Coast Guard can go two spaces. If I go here, well, my Marine, as we are have already established my marine can go on coastal waters so it can actually travel all the way up here and my coast guard can also go here if I put my coast guard here and he takes it then I take him And so that would be, he'd be up by a Coast Guard. So I don't want that. One, two, three. If I go here, then both of his Marines can take my Marine or my Coast Guard. Okay. Oh. 
think I need to get yeah I'll go for that fight three against two I could do that that's strange that's very strange but I can do that too to me the Marines are more valuable than the executive so if I lose my president and I'm able to take your Marine then I'm happy with that so now I have two of his marines and he has one of my marines and my vice president when the president was assassinated the vice president took the uh, president's place so I have a new president and my vice president has been sidelined alright with his jet here one two three four and he has no place to land so that to me is a wasted move I want to open this up so that I can get my president to target his reserve. So I'm going to move my jet. I want to move it out of the way, but I don't want to do any friendly fire. If I go here, one, two, three, four then I will end up taking out my own submarine and I did want to try to use that but for expedience I'm going to do that issue friendly fire so that we can speed up the game Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I couldn't get him. Uh, I have nowhere to land. One, two, three. It has to go four or more, so it can't land here. So I can't do anything else with the jet, but it is out the way. I am able to bring my president down here so that I can target the reserve. Again, why he took the child, I don't know, because it already did the major job of, of, of uh, taking my opponent's nuke. Now, if I travel down to take the reserve, his army can take me, but because I still have my marine, I can still pretty much get down there uh, pretty quick without great effect. Um, let's see if I can just su supply some support and try to stay out of the way of his jet. One, two, three, and, uh, and that's out of his flight path. Okay, now he can go one, two, three, four. So he, he has nowhere to land. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's nowhere to land there. Going in this direction, there's nothing to take of mine. In that direction, nothing there. And so uh, if I take his helicopter with my Marine, his Vice President can take me because he can go up to four in a straight line. If I take, I can't reach his president, and I can't reach his army, so if I go here, his mover can push his Coast Guard into an offensive move to take my 
Ah, I think I have no, 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 no. To take my marine. I was just thinking maybe if I took his Coast Guard while it's on coastal waters, but then he can use his helicopter to one, two, three, four to go here and take out my marine, or I can just use his president to take my marine if I take his Coast Guard. So if I go here, that would be my best move. Because at that point, he's out of range of the president because it can only go straight lines. So it can only go here, 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 or here. His army can go here and here, or here and here, or back there. So that's out of range as well. So that's my best move. Now... I am able to take this, uh, but he's got two covering. He's got both the president and the army covering. Okay. This isn't going to be as fast as I expected it to be. Alright, let's get the army working. One, two, three, four. Alright, his jet has to move at least four. One, two, three, four. And since that's covered, I'm threatening him, but he's not threatening me. Alright, wow, he's got triple coverage over here. That's a little bit of a fortress. Not exactly overkill, but but pretty good um... I'm actually considering moving my nuke down there one two three four four is his maximum move so that was no threat one, two, three. If I go here, then I would be threatening his helicopter, but then he might just run. Ah, I can take his mover because his mover was covered by the vice president which is now gone so I'm gonna do that and it places a triple threat on his president vice president and helicopter oh man all right here's what happened the I oh. his army was here which means it can do two spaces one two or one two I didn't look at that I didn't see it now he's got both of my ah, yeah, 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 yeah. so now alright his diplomat is gone I gotta get his child out the way and then I can use my nuke Because at that point, his child and diplomat are the only ones that can take my nuke. If his child and diplomat are off the board, then he has nothing to take my nuke. And at that point, all I have to do is build a fortress. Hopefully, he won't be able to get through. But I, right now, it's very, very weak. And I need to use something to get that child with little, I, I, I don't want to sacrifice my president. I can move it here or here and, and just take the child that quickly. But then his president will take my president. And I don't have a, a vice president anymore. So that'll be the end of that long range offensive piece. All right, let's see what we can do here.
All right, the nuke can only go one space at a time, but the Coast Guard can go two spaces at a time. So if I board the Coast Guard, then that can actually get me further on in, th in their direction. And the child can't do anything with the on coastal waters. So I'm protected for a little while. While I'm on coastal waters, I'm protected. Unless he has a, unless he uses his helicopter, his helicopter can take both of them out while the nuke is boarding the Coast Guard. So I have to beware of that. Now, if I disembark here, his child will just take it. But if I try to find another vehicle no I think that's good enough I think that's good enough I think I have enough in the way that he won't be able to do much to combat my nuke when I Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go here. And now when I disembark, I'll be within range of everyone. So all I have to do is take out the child and then disembark and detonate. And that'll take care of that. Again, because I took his child, I lose my diplomat and religion. Now, I'm going to move my nuke over here. That's exactly what I expected him to do, is to move his president here so that he can try to get down in there. But, it's already too late. It's my turn. I detonate. It's a, If you can see the blue highlight that's the um, blast zone for the nuke so at this point I'm taking out my own Coast Guard his Coast Guard his vice president his army his media his reserve and his flag and that should be the end of the game all right that's the end of the game and that's it for today Thanks for watching.